So Figma just dropped its new AI feature and trust me, this is a game changer. Today we are going to walk through some of the coolest things you can do with the AI feature, such as designing by typing a few prompts. You can grab any image and search for similar elements using the visual search feature. Making prototypes have also become so much easier with Make Prototype which generates your prototype in seconds with the click of a button. And whenever you have a stack of similar elements, you can use the replace content to improve the copy, increase and reduce the number of instances. And finally, on improving your workflow, Figma gets rid of repetitive tasks by helping you rename all your layers. So guys, let's dive right into Figma and see how we can get started using some of these amazing AI features. So guys, to get started, I've opened up a new design file and I'm going to select this action button on the bottom navigation here and you can see all of the AI features that was released. We are going to go through all of them one after the other in a bit, but I'm going to select the first one which is first draft. This allows you to just type in a particular prompt and then it's going to generate your design for you. Here you can click on this basic app category section. Here you can see different categories of structure like the basic app, app wireframes, basic sites and also site wireframes. I want to design a mobile app so I'm going to select the basic app and here I'm going to give it a prompt. I'm going to say design a luxury e-commerce fashion store. A very simple prompt. I'm going to ignore this error here and I'm going to click on make it. It's going to go ahead and start generating our designs for us and it's going to take a couple of seconds to generate this design. As you can see here, you can see some of the images being generated and you get this really nice loading animation effect. And we are just going to wait a couple minutes for it to completely flesh out all of the images that we are going to need for this mobile application. And you can see here we are already getting something really nice. It has already broken this down into different categories such as the trending category and also the editor speed. And here at the bottom we get this really nice bottom navigation bar with cool icons. You can also change the style. You can see that this has a rounded corner style. You can change this to the sharp edges. You can also change the theme um, such as the dark theme or the light theme. And this is really cool. You can really get um, your first draft, that particular phase where you have your mood body, where you have your entire creative process, where you're trying to figure out exactly what to do. This particular AI feature is definitely going to make your workflow a lot better in that particular phase. And you can go ahead and click on make changes. You can see some other changes that you can quickly just toggle. Like here, you can see the light mode and dark mode. You can also come here and make effect rounded corners um, based on the elements. You can go ahead and change the typography um, for title and body. And then you can also switch from style to prompt and you can go ahead and add to the existing prompt. So this is really cool guys. The first draft AI feature is good to go and I really love it and I feel like it's something I am going to be using a lot. So the next thing we are going to check out in the AI features here, as you can see here, is the make changes. Make changes of course takes us to the past where we need to make changes. We've looked into that. Uh, we are going to go back. So the next AI feature we are going to be looking at is the rewrite this. With the rewrite this and the translate tool, it works with a particular text. And if you click on a particular text, so I'm going to select this particular luxury fashion text up here. And I'm going to select the rewrite this. And for this, I'm going to say, make this about trends. So I just want that section to have information about trends and it's just going to give it a different copy for that particular section based on your prompt, which is super amazing. Another thing you could do or you could do is the translate tool. You can translate this text from one language to another. So here I'm going to select a different language. For example, I'm going to select Thai and it's going to translate this text into Thai language, which is super cool. I'm going to go back. I'm going to undo this. And another feature you could use, um, which is really amazing, is the shorten. Of course, you have a text and you want to shorten it. You can just go ahead and click this shorten text. And it's just going to take the text and shorten it, of course, just as the name implies. So those are really amazing stuff you could do with the Figma AI. Now, let's take a look at things you can do regarding images 
with the Figma AI. I'm just going to click outside of the box here and I'm going to open up our actions tab and scroll down to the image editing section. The first one here is make an image. Let's say we are trying to add a jewelry category to this particular fashion store and I need like an image for that section or a feature image. So I'm going to select make an image and here I'm going to give it a prompt. I'm going to say make an image of a luxury jewelry collection. So I just want like a collection of jewelry, that kind of image to portray that here we have um, luxury jewelries available. So I'm just going to move this section to the right while it loads up and it's going to generate like one, two, three, four, four instances or four options of images for us to choose from. And you can see here we have amazing design. I think I like this. So I'm just going to select this. And I'm also going to click and drag this out. You can go ahead and pick all of the options if you like, but I'm going to select just both of this. And you can see this is an amazing image. We can also test another amazing AI feature, which is the remove background. So I'm going to select this image that we have here, open up our actions and click on remove background. And in just a matter of seconds, we are going to have this image in a PNG format without a background just like this this is super cool guys there's so many amazing stuff you could do with the ai feature that can enhance your workflow and once you're done with your design let's say you're satisfied with this design you can select the entire frame still come back to your figma ai section and click on rename layers right here on the left it just goes ahead to check all your layers and make sure that they are all properly renamed um, based on how your layout is or how the structure of your website is so these are really amazing too i'm actually very impressed with how much progress um figma has made with the ai of course there's still a lot of room for improvement but this is definitely a step in the right direction and i'm very sure a lot of people will find the ai feature really helpful Please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the Figma AI feature. Also leave a comment about your favorite feature and which one you've been using the most. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. Do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.